walking up on the scene of the job site at Kensington Heights. This is the whole actual building. As you see, several complexes. They have one that has not yet been covered in plastic, so that means that there's a possible asbestos seeping out of that building into our community. There's a gentleman out here as I'm approaching the scene. He sees me coming up and he walks away. Chantel. I was actually coming to see are you guys hiring? I was told that there's an asbestos abatement going on. Over, over there? Okay, thank you. If I could get my hat to stay. I think they're union. Are you union? They're union? Oh, okay. All right, thank you. My name is Chantel Franklin. Are you the person in charge of this job? I am. Okay, wonderful, yes. I was coming to see where you hiring. I was told that there's a asbestos abatement going on. I have my asbestos certification. I have oh, my Ocean oh, 10. I work, I work for the Housing Authority. I'm their project manager, so I am in charge okay. of this. But I'm okay. not the contractor that would hire anybody that he needs to hire. Okay, you do you know who to, the contractor is? Well, you would either have to talk to the general contractor, which is uh, ARIA, A-R-I-A. A-R-I-A? Right there, right there in that trailer. Right there right in that trailer right over there. Okay, okay. The fellow's name is Jim. That's the super superintendent or supervisor on the job. Okay. So he'd be the one to ask. All right. Thank okay. you. Have a good day. Okay, so apparently the gentleman that I was speaking to the first time is actually the one hiring, but he kind of threw me off to the other people, and now he disappeared. He's nowhere in sight. And this is him right here. Um, I actually just spoke to the gentleman from BMHA. He said that you are the person that I should speak to. Are you the contractor? No. Okay. Contractor. Excuse me? I'm the contractor, he said. He said you're the contractor no, for Aerial. Yeah, for the, G the general contractor. Right, so he said I would have we're to speak. the project. They're doing the asbestos work. Who's doing the hiring? We're not hiring. We're, we're subcontract. They're subcontracting from us. We're the general contract. Okay, so who would I go to in order for me to get a position? Who would I go I to or who would I speak to? Those guys. I mean, our, the guys, our, my guys have been on here in a week. Okay. In a week. That's it. The project's over. These guys are going to continue to be on this project, not us. Okay, okay. So you're just doing the first phase of the project. and the general contractor. These guys are doing the, the work. They're doing the actual you work. You sub the work out to you them. You sub the work out to yeah. them. Okay. Am I so a tape recorder? They're trying to tell me that. Am I a tape recorder? Excuse me? Am I a tape recorder? No, this is my. They're okay. telling me that um, 
that I have to speak to you in order for me to get a position, and now you're telling me I have to speak to them. So yeah, I'll, I would speak I'll find we'll, out we'll, what's we'll, going we'll on. Right now and talk to them. Okay. okay. And they're not hiring, I don't think. I mean, they're union. Are you union? Yes, I am in a union, actually. Yeah, that's what you got to talk to. We're not union. Okay. <laughs> But I mean, even non-union though. I have a lot of people who have their um, asbestos abatement certifications and... We're done for a week. Yeah, one more we're done. Okay. The next phase will start for me another year. Okay. That's going to be done. Okay. Thank you. guys unfortunately he referred me back to you he said that I should speak to you in regarding getting a position um, so who does the hiring that's uh, what I need to know I'm a, well they actually He's a general contractor. Right. He subbed the job out to you guys yes. from what he told you, me. Yes. So well, who's doing this right now? Yes, I am. Okay. I'm coming. I'm here from Build of Buffalo as well. I'm the jobs committee. Okay. I'm the president of the jobs committee. Okay. Now, what we're doing right now is just trying to figure out what's going on here. I was told that this is a minority. Um, minorities are supposed to be hired for this job, okay. Section 3 workers. Okay. And from what I see, from what I see, I don't see any minorities here. Okay. So what I want to know is, is how do I go about getting a position for this job? I have my well, asbestos let, let certification. This, how did you gain access to this site? We have a locked gate at this site. That, that gate was unlocked. The gate was wide right. open. And that was open. Wide open. open. Shouldn't have access to the site. Okay. The people that are authorized to be on the site should be here. Well, if I have my um, OSHA 10 and if I'm in my hard hat and my steel toes, I have the right. I can actually come no, into this don't. site. No, this is a locked, secure site. But it wasn't locked when I came in. Okay. So, okay, therefore, fine. it was open at to the point, public. At that point, if you want to leave your name with the people, and if they're going to be hiring, they can call you. But at this point, I'm going to have to ask you to leave the site because you're really not authorized to be here. Okay, okay that's this fine. Is a, this is a closed, locked, secure site. So okay. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Okay, All I'm right. going to leave, but I just want to get a little bit of information before I go. May I please have the, who's the co actual contractor that's doing the hiring? That's what I need to know so that I can go fill in the application. I have several other people, other minorities that have their asbestos certified who is in need of a job, who is qualified for this job, who needs to, to find out how do we go about applying for the job. Okay, well, uh, from our end, we are a subcontractor on this project. Okay. In my contract, uh, with all these people on here with my men that, that I can prove are all done through Local 210 through the, through the union in Erie County. Okay. All of my men are hired through the union hall, through the hiring process through the union hall. Uh, ARIA is the general contractor. What their hiring procedures are for their men and how their men get hired, I'm unaware of. I don't associate with that. Okay. I'm a subcontractor to them. And my uh, all of my men, my foremen, and my people are hired through the union hall, and I have a union steward here. You could easily call uh, Local 210 here in Buffalo, and they'll explain to you. I'm very familiar with Sam Capitano. Yes, Sam. Very familiar. All, uh, my men from this um, project came from Sam. Okay. Yes. Okay. So I was told this is also a Section 3 job. Uh, I'm unaware of that. If any of that's, like I said, I, I'm a subcontractor to do this cleaning work, and all of my men and my contract came to the union. I have a contract with them. Okay, so you're the only contractor, subcontractor that's working this job? Um, as far as doing any of the abatement cleaning work, yes. Okay, okay. So in order for us to get a position, we would have to go through the local labor 210. Um, in order for for any ability, because I already have a written contract with the union hall to do this job. Um, in order for me to hire anyone to this job, they would have to come from the union hall. As far as any of the other, the, the general contractor or anyone else. Um, okay, okay. Now, can you tell me, do you have any minorities working this job? Um, no, I don't think so. No, okay. So you do realize that you are in a minority neighborhood. You are coming into a neighborhood where there's a, a tons of minorities point, point have to and there's no minorities I'm working. I'm going to ask you to remove yourself from the project site now because the project is a dangerous site. We've got a lot of activity going on. Right? Okay, I understand. I'm very familiar with asbestos, sir. I understand. That's fine. I'm asking you to leave the site now. Okay, and I thank you. I greatly appreciate that. And may I have your name, now. please? My name is Kevin. Kevin? Okay, thank you, Kevin. I'm Chantel Franklin. Okay. I'm coming from Build of Buffalo Jobs Committee. Okay, that's thank fine. You. Thank, thank you very you. much. Thank Thank you. You have a good day. Oh, please.
please, no, no, please no, don't no. touch me. I'm not please don't you. touch me, I'm sir. Okay, and I don't need you to walk behind me. I don't need you to walk behind me or beside me. You don't have to walk me. You don't have to walk me. I know how to walk. I got in here and I know how to get out. Please do not put your hands on me. Thank you. I, you were about to. No, yes, you were. No, yes, you were. Yes, you were. Yes, you were. I'm walking out. I'm walking out right now. Please do not touch me and stay away from me. Please. Thank you. That's fine. I got it from beginning to end. I'm not doing anything wrong. I am a citizen, a taxpaying citizen, and I have the right to come on this job. Oh, well, yes, I do. No, you don't. I have my OSHA 10. Look, you want to see it? I have my OSHA 10. I have my asbestos abatement. I have every right. Well, the door was open. The gate was open, as you see. So it was open to the public. I had every right to come back here. There's warning signs to keep off. There's warning signs to keep off. Thank you very much. I have the right to be on this site. I have my hard hat, I have my steel toes, I have my OSHA 10. I can walk on any site I want to walk on. And that's what I do, that's my job. From Build of Buffalo Jobs Committee. It's just a shame that you come in our neighborhood and y'all making all this money, y'all have all these jobs available. You gave me the runaround and told me that I had to go to someone else in order to get the position. No, and the hiring man was standing I, right no, there. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. I'm not, I'm not the hiring not. man was right there. And you're from BMHA. I will be contacting Buffalo Municipal Housing to let them know how this project is coming along. You guys are in our neighborhood and you are not offering us the opportunity to work. It is unfair to us. And if we can't work, you guys won't work either. He just said that he didn't have any minorities. Not you, not you. I'm not talking about you, sir. I'm not talking about you, sir. I was just over there talking to that gentleman and that gentleman stated to me that he did not have any minorities working. Straight with me, I went straight with you. You shouldn't have bullshitted when you came in the door. No, I'm not bullshitting. No, you did when you came in. I'm not bullshitting at all. You didn't represent yourself who you were, okay? You said your first name, you told me you're looking for a job. You didn't tell me you're- I am looking for a job. What's your reasoning for being here? My reason for being here is to find Find yeah, out what's no, going no on. I need a straight. job. You weren't straight. I'm being straight. I was straight from the beginning. You the only thing straight. that I do you, apologize for is when you asked me was I recording, I did say, yeah, man, well, I basically straight. didn't yeah, say anything. I'm a straight shooter, you're not a straight shooter. I didn't say anything when you, you asked me was I recording. You didn't have to lie. I'm not lying. Come on. I'm being totally honest. All right. Totally honest. You're supposed to be when I walked on here, I here, asked you guys. You should have made an appointment to come and see us. We usually have this case. How? We don't know who the contractor is. How can we make an appointment? We didn't know who the contractor was. You figured out how to get in here, you gotta figure that out. I didn't yep. figure out anything. Your gates yeah, was wide yeah, open. Yeah, if this is a lock secure, if this is a lock secure, oh, I'm definitely straight. No, you're, not. you're not a straight shooter. You guys aren't straight. You're trying to get all the money you don't want to share with the minorities. You come in our neighborhood and you do all this work and we don't have the opportunity to make any money. Y'all not gonna make all this money in our backyard and we don't get any of it. I'm sorry. It's not gonna happen. Yeah, okay, but you also supposed to have section three workers. How many section three workers do you have? Section three. You have three section three workers. Okay. All right. Well, I'll find out. Okay. I'll find out. Thank you.